you know, some people get a little bit out of shape and you don't respond quickly, or like if you don't watch, you know, some of their content. Um, if we don't respond quickly, y'all be tripping. Yeah, so, you know, realistically, I mean, for. You, I, I gotta keep my Michigan under control for you. <laughs> realistically, for us, um, we're. It has taken how many days to do this? Three or four days just to do this just little, to set up a conversation. Yeah, just to set up this little little, little video. Um, now you'll see we'll post things frequently because we'll you know we are always trying to capture the moment of life with the girls and things that happened here and you know we're working yeah. on a garden. And, we have like know, little clips ready on occasion. Yeah, um, but most of the stuff is as time allows and. As well as responses and stuff. So if you guys drop us a comment, we greatly appreciate greatly appreciate that. Greatly appreciate the support. Um, but we may not get to all the comments, you know, in no, a I day mean, or two. That's <laughs> just, I mean, he works full time and comes home, takes care of outside stuff that has to be done a couple times a week. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it's usually four thirty, five o'clock, and then, you know, we got two hours before the girls have to get ready for bed, and then it's, you know, dinner, clean up, outside playtime. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but this job, all day long, I don't even text people throughout the day. Like, I miss his calls all the time, so, but we will try to do a general response at least. After so many comments, I mean, it's definitely hard, I say, to hit every single one. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't have anything else (laughs) nice to say. (laughs) Just let them have it straight. Build a bridge and get over it, man. I'll be all right. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's tough. Um, Like you said, I work full time, and then when I come home, we've got... You know, property to maintain as well as stuff in the house and yeah. that's provided. And we're still unpacking. Yeah. I mean, sure. I'm still trying to decorate the house and furnish it. We've only been here six months. Mm-hmm. So, but we moved in Thanksgiving week. Mm-hmm. So we had the holidays. And the main thing was just getting the rooms unpacked and the kitchen. And we were, we're still digging out clothes and shoes. Mm-hmm. I, still can't have, I, I still can't find my riding boots. But anyway. Her riding boots, man. I have found like nine or ten pairs of boots. I'm like, are these it? Are these <laughs> the right it? ones. Are those it? Nonetheless, uh, we've not been here very long, so we're, you know, we had the holidays, unpacking the basics. Maya came middle of January, mm-hmm. so kind of just now, kind of where she's sleeping more, and we're getting a little bit more freedom now that she's about four months old. So I mean, you can imagine how crazy it's been just since moving. So yeah. Definitely busy. Yeah. We'll get more time as months progress, just as the girls get older and uh, more sleep occurs. Anything else you want to tell us? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Y'all see what she be doing to me. <laughs> that was going to be good if I pulled the joke, but I was kind of panicking because I didn't want to say hello. I'm just kidding. April Fool's what? It, it was a belated April Fool's joke. Oh. Because <clears throat> I never got to pull the prank on you. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you think that's funny. Why don't you tell me what you told me about my little, uh, <laughs> little stuff, everything we come to shelf in the house. Listen, <laughs> I can't, I don't have time to go through that. <clears throat> I can say this nicely. No, just say it however. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I mean, you know, we've been married forever. Forever, yeah. I mean, this this is the thing. We started off in a little, like, you know, a little house, and there wasn't a whole lot of storage, so stuff was kind of dropped on the table, which I have a pet peeve. Like, right now, my coffee buffet, it's kind of driving me crazy because it's a catch-all station right now. And then I went to the kitchen to talk to, you know, my husband about, hey, when are we going to do that video? Meanwhile, I look at my dining room windowsill. We've got power cords, our eyeglass case, papers. I don't even 
even know what else is up there. The corner of the dining room, which is all open concept. Tripod. Bach is something that I don't even know. That was baby stuff. You should try to blame me for that. I get no, you should say that's a good will. Anyway, so that's there. And then I have a, you know, the, it's all connecting, like a peninsula overhanging counter where you could put like bar stools. So I have like this nice little peninsula that I've always wanted. I try to clean it like once a week just to keep it cleaned off. I like my counters decluttered, clean. I look over, papers, envelopes, mail. Even though we got a mail center now. Y'all saw that in another video. You know, that's, that's the thing I looked in the bucket and said, hey, yeah, we need that. We do. We're using that, kind of using that. And then, what else you got on the counter? Oh, a screwdriver, some sense, and random tools, which, y'all, he got four four garages and somehow his tools so uh, in my kitchen i just said you all all these buildings and the screwdriver by the way was because i was fixing the baby monitor that broke nonetheless it has a home things have a home put them back where you go that's why i told him I'm i said to get back to the home i, I was said, lost all <laughs> listen, right he was following we have this, from. you have this garage the workshop and then your big workshop across the driveway I said, all this space, and your stuff still pukes in my part of the house. That's what in I said. In my defense, y'all, for the past six months, I've been doing everything but getting it's any just, of the shops or garages in order. You got in the workshop. That one done pretty good. You know, hanging shelves and desks and stuff. So that was that, on us. That was before lawn season started. And you got some stuff. I mean, I guess you haven't been able to tend to everything. I mean, that's true. But I like to give them a hard time because. Mm -hmm. I have a thing about my kitchen and stuff being clean and not cluttered. I don't like stuff piled on my tables. I don't like stuff piled on Or shoes. Oh. I can't even, can't. It's going to be too anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm turning OCD. <laughs> you put the little kitchen on the dining, on my kitchen table. It's germs, dude. Like, it's where we eat. Here's some shoes. Okay, let's outside. There were, there were like three it. random kid shoes outside, and I'm like, well, You probably couldn't put them on my kitchen table. I couldn't put them in the bedroom. The girls were asleep. What am I going to do? I'm trying to put them where they'll be seen so they can make it back shoe to the bedroom. Shoe rack right here. I'm just saying. Man, that, I'm just saying. I would show you I guys mean, a shoe rack, but no, we need to. We have this double layer shoe rack. We need about a quadruple layer shoe rack with a little mini section. You more shoes through. than me. Look, one, two, three, four. With a little five. mini set. With a, little mi <laughs> with a little mini section for the girls' shoes, because they fall oh, through yeah. the rack. They do. Maybe we should like, put like a little wicker basket in the middle or something. Just look, or just get like a little basket for them. And Dollar Tree and just have them throw their shoes in the basket. Everything's got to be custom. It's just like my three wheels on a block channel. <laughs> Stock is not an option. You can't just buy a shoe rack and it works. None of that stuff works. No, you really have to try to <laughs> figure out something else. It's always Pinterest. Because it's worse stuff. A lot of doesn't work. Anyway, we appreciate y'all <laughs> yeah, checking out the listening. video and listening in. Uh, we're going to try to do some live streams. We'll probably do it in the evening time when the girls are asleep. Um, that'll be coming soon. And be on the lookout for some product reviews because there are some essential baby things that we've used for the past, well, almost year and a half. Year and a half, almost two years now, that we know what does work and what doesn't work. So we'll let you in on what, so we've, far, used what we've used so far that. Has it broken? And we've had some stuff that's failed. Um, we'll talk car seats because there's some terrible car seats out there, and then there's some really good car seats. Um, so I'm sure y'all feel the pain of car seats. Yeah. I'm gonna miss this. I hate them. I love them, but I hate installing them. That's why he does it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, drop us a comment. Smash that thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. And thanks, you guys. Thanks, you all, for talking like a Yankee. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> yes, you from up north. You guys is a general statement. You said it. I'm so proud of you. <laughs>